Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. The city of Midland has its new fire department chief. The city is promoting Joshua Mosher effective January 1st. He takes over for Chief Chris Coughlin, who is retiring. Mosher joined the Midland Fire Department as fire marshal in 2012. He was promoted to assistant fire chief of training and safety in 2017. Also was named fire inspector of the year by the Michigan Fire Inspectors Society in 2015. And one canine at the Saginaw Police Department is getting an equipment upgrade. Ares now has new body armor. The protective vest keeps him safe from bullets and knives. A donation from the nonprofit group Vested Interest in Canines made it possible. The group has donated more than 4,400 vests to canines in all 50 states. And the state is issuing more emergency food assistance benefits this month. The Department of Health and Human Services announced all eligible Michigan families can expect an additional monthly payment in response to the pandemic. Families will see the additional benefits appear on their bridge card between December 18th and the 27th. Eligible households will receive a minimum increase of $95 monthly. All right, here's Chris now with a look at your forecast. Uh, the Blake expecting a windy afternoon across mid-Michigan. Still, those wind advisories and high wind warnings in place. Those go until 4 p.m. If they're extended beyond that, we will let you know. Right now, the high wind warning only for Huron, Alcona, and Roscommon counties. Everyone else under a wind advisory. Either way, whether it's a warning or advisory, plan for a windy afternoon. Wind gusts have been common between about 30 and 50 miles per hour, and they'll fluctuate a bit. It's not going to be 50 miles per hour the whole time, but that potential will be there through the early afternoon before starting to relax a bit later on tonight. We still expect the overnight, especially the early part of it to be breezy as well, but wind gusts will be a little bit closer to about 30 miles per hour and it's been a warm day so far, but plan for a much different feel as we go through the evening hours. 40s already starting to pop up right along 127 as of 1230 and we'll start to see those move eastward as the afternoon goes along. Your first one five sky tracker shows some clouds may return as well, seeing some of those in West Michigan and then the sunshine that we're seeing to the south and east may stick around in some of those areas a bit longer. So variable sky conditions this afternoon. Your first one five hour by hour forecast shows no wet weather to deal with. We're dry through midnight and dry through early tomorrow morning. Next chance of precipitation, not until Saturday. It looks like a chance for light snow and that will continue into the overnight hours before ending on Sunday. Looks like perhaps an inch or two. We'll start to uh, update that a little bit more as we get into tomorrow. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.